What's up? Welcome back to another episode of Jazzy Time with your host, Bailey. How's it going, everybody? Oh my goodness, I literally think I haven't done a video in a few months. Uh, with everything that's going on, of course, we're getting, you know, down to the wire and trying to get the baby's room ready and all that crazy stuff. Um, I've just had, like, gifts and stuff pouring in. Like, I have not had a chance to do any baby corner videos, any nail videos, um, but I'm going to try and get to two short nail videos today. I'm no longer going to be um, putting extensions on my nails for a little while, uh, simply because I just don't want to stab Junior or get anything up underneath of him, if you understand what I'm saying. Um, I have a little bit of a baby hack for everybody today, since I haven't done any baby videos, so I figured I would. Um, it's... I don't know what it, like other people can call it, whatever they want to call it. I call it a binky clip, um, you know, a pacifier holder or a clip. Um, I have made several. Um, I will, these are obviously all in the, the thumbnail photo, um, but it's just a simple little clip for a pacifier. So, um, I, I have not seen this video anywhere. Um, other people probably do it differently. This is how my mother did it for us when we were younger. So I've just kind of changed it up a little bit with the clip and that. So I'm going to show you guys what you need or can use. And this is how I put them together, but there's all kinds of different ways you can make these. This is just how I made them. So I'm going to pause for a second. Actually, I don't think I need to adjust the camera. I've got a lot of big stuff here. So I'm not going to adjust the camera um, until we go down to make one. Because I'm going to make at least one of them with you. Um, so for this, you will need some scissors, of course. You're going to need needle and thread or a sewing machine. If you have a sewing machine, it's quicker. But... Uh, you're probably going to want to sew this by hand. Uh, you're going to need a hot glue gun. Hot glue. You're going to need a candle. Something to light that candle. I went to Walmart and I bought a pack of the 45 inch laces. But be sure that they are the flat laces. Not like the roundy ones or the like... Uh, they're like kind of flat on top and then round underneath. You want a flat lace. This package came with dual colors, so black and this little checkery pattern. And they were only a couple of dollars. So um, you're also going to need some key rings. Um, you can get this in the craft section. You can get it in the key section. You can basically get it anywhere keys are cut or in a craft section. And this, uh, I had a eight pack, something like that. Because I literally have enough to make a dozen. I know I'm probably not going to need that many. but And now you can use any kind of clip. I was actually looking for like a little metal clip. Like a tiny little alligator clip. But I could not find any anywhere. I tried Staples. I tried Canadian Tire. I tried Walmart. I tried the dollar store. And I could not find any anywhere. So I had a little bit of a epiphany. And I saw these in the dollar store. They come in so many different varieties. Uh, I've got like, uh, I've got a little heart. I've got a little peace sign. I've got some funky looking little owls. They have the emojis. Um, you know, all kinds of little cute little clips. Because I didn't want to go with safety pins because I didn't want the baby to, you know, maybe grab at it and open it up and then have that needle go in his hand and it would be just horrible. Why are you barking? Mama bears across the hall now. So you guys are probably going to see her on a couple of videos. Um, so these are like fridge magnet clips and they're, to me, they look a little safer, you know, for baby wise. So you can grab yourself some of those or whatever kind of clips you want to use. Um, I'm going to pause for a second. I need to go and plug in the hot glue gun. 
and I will be right back. All right, hey, funny hands. Okay, so um, at this stage, I kind of already started, and I wish I had left one big lace out. Um, so I take the laces out of the package, obviously. Um, and when you stretch them out, they are fairly long. So what I did was I cut them in thirds and I got some decent length because the ones in the, like the actual pacifier clips in stores are not very long and my gosh, are they ever <laughs> expensive? Like one of them at Walmart was eleven ninety four. I couldn't believe it. And I am doing this all for less than $20. So you have a dozen for less than 20. So easy to do for yourself. So this might be a, a little bit of a quick video. So I'm using this one here as an example, just so that I can show you guys. Oh, sorry. You probably can't even see that there. So using this one as an example, because it has the kind of like the best little sewing pattern here, but it doesn't have to be perfect. It's going to get drooled on. You know, you're probably going to lose a few of these. It doesn't matter. Just as long as, you know, that Binky doesn't hit the floor. So stretch out your laces. They're gonna be really, really big and I cut mine in thirds. They don't have to be perfect, obviously. But I kept these two here. You go on a, without, oh. Keep away from children, yes, I am a child. I obviously don't know how to, <gasps> there we go. Light yo candle or whatever because of course I burn a few of these all at once so it's easier to use a candle than sitting there and burning your finger with a lighter and once you cut the ends they're going to be very frayed so literally just pass the end through the flame and you will get a nice I'm going to move that so I don't burn my hand and you'll just get a nice crisp edge there. I'm going to do it again. And you won't have any runaways. Oh no, I picked up some of the wick. I don't want that. There we go. And then when you're done with your candle, you blow that out. So again, and there's one that isn't cut very perfectly, obviously. And so I have my key rings here. Like I said, you can get these from a craft section, wherever. Um, they don't all have to be the same size. I do have some that are extremely large. I have a few that are itty bitty. So I did grab a couple of different varieties of key rings or you can get them all the same if you're maybe anal or something, <laughs> something like that. So you wanna make sure you cut those off, off the ends and get rid of those. Cut your laces in thirds and then burn your laces so that you have this nice little stretch here. And then you're going to grab out your little key rings. And what I did, I have my uh, needle and thread ready here. And what I did was, I'll show you with this one here, is I just took the key ring and folded that lace over just once, just a bit. And I kind of just sewed it in a little box and then a crisscross just to make sure that, you know, that's not going to go anywhere. Like I said, it doesn't need to be a pretty sewing job. You know, just as long as that ring isn't going to come off. So take your ring, put it on the end here. And I just fold this over here. And I'm using a safety needle for this. You can use a sharper needle if you like. I'm using the blunt needle simply because the flatter um, shoelaces have a little more looseness uh, than a regular shoelace. So the safety needle goes through there easier and you're not going to prick your finger if you're like trying to force something through. So I go up through the side here and hide the knot in behind. And I won't bore you guys with this entire sewing thing here. But I pull, I put my finger in the ring and I keep tension on one side and then I hold where I fold it over just to keep this little area tense while I'm sewing. And just weave in and out so that uh, the little flap here, oh flap, 
the fold over that you just made kind of stays in place and just sew her in place. And that's that. And like I said, doesn't got to be pretty. Just kind of back and forth, maybe 10 or 12 times to secure that in place. And yeah, and then you're going to move on to the next step. So I'm going to pause for a second. I'm not going to bore you guys with the sewing. Um, I'll finish this one. I'll come back, restart with this one again. Pause again, just to show you. So pause, be right back. Okay, so like I said, doesn't have to be pretty. You know, just as long as that's going to stay on there. Because it's really only holding a pacifier. So again, I got my needle and thread ready again. So just take your ring. Put the lace through there. Fold it over. I put my finger in the ring and I hold where I have it folded. I go up through the side to hide the knot on the back of the string here. And my knots are crazy. <laughs> and then again, it's just an in and out, up and down motion to secure the ring to the string. Oh, those are who are you barking at? So, up and down, side to side, doesn't really matter. You just want to keep that fold in place. <coughs> woof, woof. Like so. <coughs> My goodness. Doggy's barking. All right, and then when I go to tie it off, I don't know how anybody else does it, but like I said, because it doesn't look pretty, what I do is I just, I will send the needle through and then it kind of leaves a loop when you send it up and through and I'll just go through the needle and knot it. And I'll do that a few times. Oop, stuck on the ring. Just like that. And snip it. There you go. So now you're left with this little ring loop on the end of the thing. What are we going to do with this end? Oh my goodness. I'm going to show you. I'm going to pause for a second though. and go and see what my dog is barking at. So I will be right back. Okay, problem solved. All right. So for this next step, I'm going to have to be quick because I literally just unplugged my... Um, uh, ah, ah. Pregnant brain. What is this, guys? Tell me what it is. It's a hot glue gun. That's it. Okay. So I have these. I got these refrigerator magnet clippies, but like I said, you can use any kind of clips. And I just literally, like, I use my teeth. You can use a knife, you can use whatever, but. Ouch. This was so much easier yesterday. Uh, uh, yeah. Why won't you come up now? Ah, there it is. Oh, come on. Ugh, my teeth don't want to work, guys. Not today. But you want to get... There we go. You just want to peel that magnet off the back. Somehow, some way. I'm using a pair of tweezers because my teeth don't want to work. There we go. So, like I said, again, they do not have to look pretty because, you know, the glue on the back from the magnet, of course. And so now, easy, simple step. 
I just put a bead of glue from bottom to top here, just like that. And I just lay the lace in there and push her down and let that dry. I'll show you again with this little emoji. So straight up the back. Take the lace, the other end of the lace, the opposite end of the lace that is naked, and put that in that hot glue. Push her down. And there it be. Simple, easy, and they roll up and they store really, really nicely. Just like so. So I'm going to let these two dry over here, but so many different kinds that you can make and they're obviously quick and easy to make without the steps uh, of me explaining. But if you know what you're doing and you're going to town like I did, you have several little binky clips. So I'm going to put one of these on as example and I will pause for a second and I will see you all back up top. Okay, so yeah, like I said, they store really, really easy. I just kind of roll the lace up on the ring, um, but we're gonna see how these work. I haven't even put a binky on one yet. So I have one of this little Boston Bruin. That's my thing. Philly is crashes. And we're gonna see how these work. But I'm pretty sure they're gonna work pretty well because one, you know, with the key ring, the binky is not going to come off that easily and number two these little clippers are just so cute and they're really really strong too i find i don't know if it's because it's like the fridge type magnet but and it didn't go anywhere all righty so um i hope you all uh enjoyed that little hack i'm gonna call it baby binky hack i guess um like I said, I if anybody has seen this somewhere else, let me know. I But I have never seen it. My mom literally goes, have you ever thought of a shoelace? And then I thought, ooh, I can do this with a shoelace. So I kind of just made my own because I just didn't want to spend literally an arm and a leg on one single clip. I did this all for uh, less than $20. I borrowed my hot glue gun from my mother. Uh, these clips are $1.25 a piece. So, so six something for the clips from the dollar store. Um, it was a few dollars for the rings and a few dollars for the laces from Walmart. So you can have a boatload for less than $20. So if anybody tries this, uh, let me know if it works for you. Um, and if not, then my apologies, but it seems to be working for me. Anywho, uh, click, comment, like, subscribe, and share with the universe. Keep going back, YouTube family. You know I love you. Um, I haven't really been posting on Instagram or uh, Facebook. I just can't seem to find the time. But if you want to uh, follow my Facebook fan page, facebook.com slash get my jazzy time on, or follow my Instagram, bc underscore jazzy underscore time. Um, I will be getting some more videos up I see, soon, I promise. Maybe in about four weeks, I probably will have a little while there where I won't post because we are due on August 15th. So life goes on. Uh, Anywho, I hope you all stay tuned. Have a wonderful summer. Stay jazzy.